It's the first time I've been a high camelback since 2021. And um, I'm grateful. But the message I want to give y'all before I get off here and hike down is I titled this video, Stop, Stop Letting Them Do This To You or Stop Letting Them Control You. And this is what I mean. And I'm going to give y'all the perfect analogy. Some people have too much access to you, right? Some people, what up, Nancy? Some people you're allowing to frustrate you too much. Some people have too much power and control over you. And the first thing I know you want to say is like, hey, nobody has power and control over me, Trent. Like, you know, this person in my past, but if you sit down and look at your life, for some of you, you're doing things based upon other people's actions, intentions, schemes, and plots towards you, right? You know, some of you are posting things to get back at your ex. Some of you are posting things to get back at your friends that did you wrong. And I understand the logic. I understand you want to get people back. But the thing I'm going to tell you is when you're doing things for them, the people that don't care about you, the people that did you wrong, the people that could care less about you, when you're doing things for them, even though you say you're not, but you still are because you're trying to make them feel a certain type of way. When you're doing things for them, they have power over your life still. If they're taking your time, your energy, and your attention, they have power over your life. That's why I always tell people, the best way to move on is to not look back, right? The best way to move on is not to prove to people that you're over them or that, you know, they were wrong. There's so many people who counted me out. So many people who said I wouldn't be this, I wouldn't be that. I haven't spent one drop of energy in my life trying to prove them wrong. They don't deserve my energy. They don't deserve my attention like that. Um, my mission is too big for me to sit there and worry about everybody who disagrees, everybody who doesn't like me, everybody who has a problem with me. And I want to share that with you because I think a lot of you are frustrated. A lot of you aren't moving forward because you're allowing things of your past to stop you from building a better future. You're allowing people in your past that can care less about you uh, control how you move, control what you do. Some of you are living your whole entire life to prove your past wrong. And I would tell you right now, that is the wrong way to live life. That is the wrong place to put your energy towards. That's the wrong thing to put your energy in. Put your energy towards yourself. Put your energy towards your future. Put your energy towards your best life. Put your energy in towards climbing higher. I'll give you a great example right now. I'm at the top of Camelback Mountain. And sorry that it's so windy right here. But I'm at the top of Camelback Mountain. And Camelback Mountain is huge. All right. It's a very hard hike. Um, you ever hiked it before? And there's a whole bunch of mansions down there. You probably can't see them, but there's mansions in Paradise Valley. But when I look down there, those mansions are very small, right? But they're mansions, they're huge. But I realize that since I'm at the top of this mountain, those mansions look like small homes. You might be saying, okay, Trent, what's the point in telling me this? This is the point. The higher you climb in life, the smaller big things become. For some of us, we aren't climbing in our life. What I mean by that, we aren't doing and living the life that we need to live. We aren't giving our attention to our goals, our dreams, our visions, our family. And we're so worried about all these little things and minor things around us that we're making huge because we're at ground level. Right now, somebody can be down there at the bottom of this mountain telling me, Trent, you suck. I hate you. They could be yelling all the things about me. I can't hear them. They're still saying those words. They still feel that way about them about me but i'm so high on this mountain that i can't hear them. it can't reach me and i realize that in life the higher you climb the higher you go those big problems that were big become non-existent it don't matter no more and i want to tell you that because some of you are literally allowing small things to become big in your life. You're allowing the smallest things, how somebody feels about you, what somebody did to you. And I'm not saying what they did to you is, is a small thing, but you're allowing small people and small environments and small uh, friends and to become major in controlling your life. Go climb higher because the higher you climb, the less the BS can find you, the less the nonsense can find you, the less the messiness can find you. So go climb in your life, whatever it is, climb your vision, climb your dreams, climb and creating your best life with your family go do it because some of us i'm being honest with you like we aren't living a life that's meant for us because we trying to prove people wrong because we sit here trying to make the ex feel bad and show your ex that you over them by posting this and posting that and talking about this trying to get back at them but you telling people you over that person but yet every move that you make is about that person make it make sense 
right? Some of you say, oh, I ain't worried about those friends no more, but everything you do is to get back at those friends. Every time you post something, is the, the SHIT on those friends, right? But you say you're over those friends, you're not. If those people are controlling how you move, they're controlling your life. They're controlling your peace. They're controlling your energy. They're controlling your attention. They're controlling you. No matter what you want to say, I've never in my life, I'm not going to say never, but for the most part, I've never in my journey did this to prove people are wrong that doubted me. I don't give a damn about who doubts me because who doubts me has no power on what God has for me. Like somebody's doubts doesn't change the favor that God has over my life. I don't care what you think. I don't care what you say. Yet yeah, words hurt sometimes they do, but words are just words. Opinions are just opinions. You're not God. You didn't create me, so how am I going to let you control my peace, control my journey? You don't know what's for me, right? How can you speak certain things over my life that you have no idea on the life that was created for me because you're not my creator? And some of you are allowing people in your life to become your creator. They're creating your stress. They're creating your anxiety. They're creating everything in your life because you're worried about them and what they're saying and what they're doing. You're giving them the power to control you. And again, it's not about being around them. It's not about having conversations with them all the time. But if they're literally controlling how you move and what you post and what you do, and you're trying to get back at them, they still have power over you, whether you want to hear it or not. And some people don't want to hear this message. They're like, nah, Trent, I'm over this person. But yet, every time you post, it's to get back at that person. Every time you post, it's to show that person that you're happy, right? You, you say you moved on, but every post that you make is getting back at that person. You want to show everybody that you're over that person. Why? Just go live your life. Go live your best life. It's not always about relationships. It can be about friends. It can be about anything. Go live your life. I don't care about my past. I don't care about something I can't change or control no more. Why should I care about it? I don't care about what people think, what people say. I don't care about the people who doubted me because obviously they were wrong. I refuse to give those people power over my life to dictate how I move, you know? And again, I'm going to say this and some of y'all might feel a certain type of way, but you know, I love you, right? If small things, which should be small, like small people, small mindset, gossip and all that stuff. If that stuff is controlling your life, I'm going to just say this. You're playing small in life. You're playing small in life. If gossip, drama, messiness, hate is your focus in your life, defending your name is your focus, you're playing small in life. Yeah, I used to want to defend my name too, but you know what? I don't want to defend my name no more because true character always gets revealed. I don't care about proving people wrong that could care less about me, right? I care about giving my all to the people who really care and love me and support me. You're playing small in life. You're not climbing your mountain. You're not climbing your dream and your vision because the higher you climb, I promise you, the more you realize how those things that were once major are really minor things that you worry about. And you realize that those things can't stop you. There can be somebody this at the bottom of this mountain saying, Trent, you can't climb this mountain. You can't climb. And, uh, they have no power over stopping me climbing unless they put a gun to my head and kill me. I'm still going to climb. I don't care what you say. I don't care about your opinion. I respect it because it's your truth. But I'm not here to change your truth. If that's how you want to feel, that's how you feel. If that's what you want to do, that's how you want to do. You want to say I'm a terrible person? Great. Cool. I know my heart. I know my truth. And so I'm more concerned about that. So I wanted to share that with y'all. I really think it can change your life if you start rising above. You know, I made that spoken word. Rise above. I actually recorded some of it right here, to be real with you, in this exact spot. But you got to rise above the hate, rise above all the small stuff in your life. Like, stop playing it small, man. You know, I had somebody call me the other day, want to talk about some small stuff, want to talk about people, want to talk about, oh, uh, this person said this. I don't give a damn, right? My, 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 my vision is so big, it takes all my time and focus. I don't have time to worry about small stuff that don't move me forward. Don't move my family for it. Don't move rehab time for it. If it's not moving those things for it, I don't care. You're not going to find me around it. You're not going to find me doing it. And it is what it is. And the people who learn how to guard their focus, which I talk about in this book, protect your peace. The people who learn how to really guard their focus 
are the people who will continue to rise and climb and do amazing things with their life. Stop allowing people to steal your focus. Stop focusing on things that don't multiply your energy, don't multiply your peace, don't multiply your self-worth. And give the time and energy to yourself. Like, and to the things that deserve it. Like, just think about that. Like, some of you are giving your time, your energy to things that don't even deserve you. And like, you ain't giving your all to the things that do deserve you. Right? Some of us, we ain't giving all to our kids, but yet we give all our energy and our time to things that have that are in our in the in our past. Right? You so worry about him and them and her and whoever else. And your kids could use more time with you, but yeah, you so frustrated, you so trying to prove them wrong and arguing every five minutes when you could be giving your best self to the things that truly love you. That's just that's just me. Yes, there are fake profiles, y'all. Like, y'all should know that by now on social media. Nobody's giving you money in the inbox, so stop falling for these scammers on here. Like, we should know that by now. Right, a lot of fake pages. This, this is my only real page. If it don't come back to this page, where you see 12 million followers, whatever it is, and this page, it ain't me. So, I got to hike back down, but I wanted to share that with y'all. And I just hope that me this message resonates with you because I just think it's so important. I think it's a, one of the pillars to living your best life. And you know, and, 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 and two, I'm going to say this also, what you focus on is what you feel, y'all. If you focus on your problems, you focus on your complaints, your life is going to multiply that. And I know it's easier said than done. I get it. You know, I struggle with that too at times, but like what you focus on is what you feel, you know? So that's why I come up here and I talk to God and I focus on my peace because I want to feel more peace in my life. I don't want to I always talk about what I don't have, what's wrong in my life. Like, I'm not going to run from that because it's my reality. But at the same time, I don't give all my energy towards that. Like, I'm going to focus on what's right. I'm going to focus on the reason why I'm blessed, not the reason why I'm stressed. You know, I'm going to focus on, you know, solving the problem, not complaining about the problem. And I just think we live in a world where everybody wants to complain. And I'm just going to tell you, like, nobody's coming to save you. Like, you can complain all day. You can complain that this isn't fair. I got this going on in my life. This is wrong. It's complaints. And it's true complaints. I complain too until I realize ain't nobody gonna do nothing about it except me. So then I stop complaining. And I start changing. Complaining about it is not gonna do anything about it. Nobody's gonna feel sorry enough for you to continue to help you, you know, do something for your life. It's your life. You know, sometimes life isn't fair, but don't allow life not being fair for you to make you forget that God has favor for you and over you. And so. I just keep climbing. Sometimes the climb is hard. Sometimes it's tough. Sometimes it's steep. Sometimes I got to take a break. Just like today, this climb was not easy, but the peak is always worth it. You know what I mean? And so you got to keep climbing, right? You maybe been in a valley for a long time, but the peak is beautiful. Don't ever forget that. But living a life full of complaining about who did this to you and what's going on and this ain't right, that ain't right. Some of us are addicted to our complaints. We're addicted to being a victim. And I don't, that doesn't mean that you didn't go through some real stuff. It doesn't mean that you weren't victimized in certain situations, but you're not a victim. Like, don't ever put that title over your life. Like somebody did you wrong, they did you wrong, but you're not meant to stay a victim your whole entire life. Because what happens is you wait for something to show up that might never show up. You wait for an apology. You wait for somebody to change. You wait for somebody to do something for you and it never comes. And I know it's hard to hear these words at times, but it's true. Like you got to pick yourself up. Like ain't nobody going to come do it for you. That's just facts. Some people might help you here and there, but ain't nobody going to consistently do something for your life. So if you want your life to change, it takes a hard effort to climb a mountain. It does. It's not easy, but you can pick yourself up. Everything you've been through can soon turn everything you made it through. But you got to believe that. But stand online, complain about everything. And this ain't fair. I ain't got this. I ain't got that. Listen, I've been through it all where I didn't have a lot. I could complain right now about some things, but why complain? When I have when I have a lot of reasons to be grateful and thankful, I'd rather give my energy to something that's going to multiply my peace than to something that's going to multiply my stress. It's just that's how I think about life. Your perspective is either your power or your prison. I've been telling you all that since for the last decade. So I'm going to. I'm going to choose to make my perspective my power. Why not? I could easily focus on everything that's going wrong in my life right now. Or I could focus on everything that's going right. I'd rather focus on everything that's going right to put me in a better mindset to fix the things or to deal with the things that are going wrong. 
but I'm not going to use my energy to sit here and be sad. Like for the last few years, some of y'all know I battled depression a little bit, especially after I lost my mom. And what I realized is that like, I was focused on like, on like, this isn't fair. My mom isn't here no more. Or man, I hurt my leg. I was feeling sorry for myself. You know what I mean? And rightfully so. Like, I think we all got to go through that time, but then I picked myself up and said, bro, like you got so many people depending on you. Um, you know, sitting here being sad, is not going to change anything. It's not going to bring your mama back. It's not going to do anything except it's going to dive you in a deeper ditch and you can't afford to stay here. You know what I mean? So I started doing what I knew how to do. You know, I started taking care of my health, taking care of my peace. I started building myself up brick by brick, step by step, day by day. And I got to a point where I found confidence, even in the midst of my struggle, I found confidence in my climb towards my best self, to a better self, towards my healing. And I fell in love with healing every single day. I never focused on being healed, but I fell in love with healing every single day. And every single day I got stronger, I got better. Were my, were my, were my, were my uh, situation still there? Yeah. Were my complaints still there? Yeah. I could easily complain. I complain every single day and say, man, it's not fair that my mom died when, you know, she was, she was one of the greatest people that I ever knew. She helped everybody. Like, why does she have to get cancer? It's a hummingbird right there. That's dope. Look at this, bro. Hold on. Hold on. I'm talking. Oh, look. Dang, y'all missed it. That was crazy. That hummingbird just came right in my face as I'm talking. Y'all see it? It's right there. It left. Dang, that was cool. Um, How do I deal with a broken heart? Y'all, you gotta... I've talked about this. Like, you gotta take time. Like, you know, and you gotta build yourself up. You gotta move forward. You know, and honestly, I, the best way I can tell you is you gotta build confidence in yourself. That's what you got to do. You got to show yourself that you still can survive. You still can live life with your living. And you got to tell yourself that there's a, your future has what you deserve. Your future has what's better for you. You got to tell yourself that whether it's true or not, I believe it's true, but you got to tell yourself that every single day. And so when that heart is broken, you got to realize you're going to go through things. You're going to cry. It's going to be hard, but it doesn't mean that you can't get through it. You know, you got to start just doing things, mind, body, and soul that better your life getting around better environments, right? Showing yourself that you can survive, that you can thrive, that you can still become better, that you can still, you know, go live your best life without that situation. You know, there's a lot more steps that I don't have time to talk about it, but that's just the gist of it. That's my mama here. Yeah, I know. That serves my soul. I'll take it. <laughs> And it's okay to be scared. Like it's okay. like don't take the message where I'm 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 being like, damn, my butt hurts. I sit on this rock. Um Don't take this message from like I'm saying like, oh I gotta sit up. My butt hold on. Uh, don't take this message that I'm saying like you're not gonna be sad or anything like that. Like you are. You're going to go through all the emotions, but life isn't over for you. You got to continuously tell yourself that, like, there's something better. And your life will never be the same for sure, but that doesn't have to be a bad thing. And that's, that's what helped me in my healing where I stopped trying to get my old life back. I stopped trying to go back to the, to, to the old trend. And, and I let go of that person. And I said, you know what, I'm going to just create who I like, be who I need to be and build this version of myself now. And I think that's what you have to do in different seasons of your life. Like some of us, we're trying to go back to the eight, the 20 year old us or the 30 year old us or the 40 year old us. And that's not who you are no more. Like life changes drastically. I mean, look at you from a kid to an adult. And so I've learned how to build the best version of me in the present time of my life. And so when I stopped trying to get back to this feeling of like, before I had all these situations happen, and I said, you know what? Let's just build the me that I'm at right now. Like, what is the me that I, what What do I need right now in my life? You know what I mean? What do I need to do? So I just started there. I just started there. So I got to hike back down, y'all, because I got to get, get back. But I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Y'all keep living y'all's best life, man. Let's get it.